Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please stick around to check my all new tutorials or other fun stuff. So today I am going to show you how to make this lava planet on GIMP. Again uh, we are going to do a GIMP tutorial with this lava planet look with all the burning, swirling lava around the crust of the planet and there's this hot air hot dust and look that surrounding the planet so let's start first open GIMP then go to file new and create a new image pop-up comes up so I'm going to keep the default size and click OK since my background was already black that's why the uh, document came in black color but uh, generally it will come in white then you have to uh, change the foreground color as black then take the bucket tool and fill the layer black now click on the create a new layer button this uh, square uh, paper looking um, icon with the folded corner this is a, this will create a new layer on top of the background layer so I'll Keep the size same of the new layers, but um, keep the layer fill type as transparent. That is transparency option on. Now go to ellipse select tool, which is the second option in the tool menu. Click select it and then uh, drag it on the canvas and make sure it's a round shape instead of a elliptical shape. Uh, our planet has to be more like round so we create a selection round selection so all our work will be bounded by the selection now go to filter render and sphere designer now sphere designer is a feature that um, GIMP has which is really unique let's see now under texture we see there's a noise kind of texture noisy texture and the colors already changed but generally it's it's supposed to be black and white but I have done some work previously so I think I've changed the color a little bit so better since we're doing a volcano planet so the color should be a little reddish I gave a pinkish hue here uh, you can choose or experiment with the color as you want but um, I thought this color will be okay now the first light option I've gave a little darker yellow color which came out really good uh, with the texture and in the second light I change both the colors one is a really darkish maroonish red you can consider it as a maroon color and the second one is dark orange little mix of black with orange so click on OK and our first base of the planet is ready that is this is the main uh, crust or main land of the planet now create another layer with transparency layer fill type go to filter render and lava the lava option here under render there's a separate option called lava so we will just click on lava and check on the checkbox keep selection so that the lava pattern will uh, appear within the selection that is already there the circular selection and I am not going to check the checkbox separate layer because I have already created a separate layer for the pattern lava pattern and roughness you can change to anything you can try to experiment and then click on ok so here I see there's a pattern that is within the selected area it looks like uh, lots of uh, fiery lines swirling lines now either you can duplicate this layer or create another layer and repeat the same process and you can change the roughness in second option so that it gives a little different pattern from before 
click OK and there's a new layer with new different lava pattern. Now I'm going to rename the first lava pattern layer as lava 1. and the next one as lava 2 now I'm going to change the mode blending mode of the lava 1 layer as overlay and blending mode of the lava 2 as difference now I duplicated the lava 2 layer so there's another layer and I will change its layer blending mode as screen. Now I have turned on all the layer. See how it looks without the layers turned on and now I have turned on all the layers. Now uh, you can change the opacity of each layer according to your choice. It depends on exactly what kind of pattern or design you want so that it looks uh, natural or uh, lively that is uh, full of boiling hot lavas so I'll make another layer um, on top of the original base layer and uh, I'll name the original layer that I have already made as planet base 1 where I've made a uh, soil of the planet the crust and then I'll make another layer on top of it and call it planet base 2 now here I just change the uh, texture color from pinkish to white and then making the light colors a little uh, lighter so that uh, they give a little less dense effect or less dramatic effect uh, we just want to balance the original uh, soil color with this one so you see when we added planet base 2 there's a foggy atmosphere that is has been added to the image it's because the lighter color of the entire design or entire planet base 2 uh, that made it little different so now I'm going to change the mode let's see which mode would it go well this one looks good it brightens up little a lot actually mm, if I reduce the opacity It looks really good that it feels like this planet is covered with the smoke coming out of the lavas the canals lavas it, it gives that kind of feeling that the smoke is either clouds or smoke coming out from the lava now let's take an eraser tool and reduce the opacity I've reduced it to around 24 and then gently brush it over don't overdo it just um, try to make the impact where, wherever you want to make the impact little less so that there's a, a bit uh, dramatic feelings that comes with the uh, lava look some places like hidden from our view and some places that looks like very prominent some places are covered by the fog this kind of feelings we need and we don't want to make everything so obvious that uh, entire planet is covered by lavas and all the lines are so prominent no so I'll just reduce little bit of the um, extreme prominent colors that actually hurting the eyes and uh, that will also give a very organic look now since this is a lava planet we need to show a little glow around the planet because it is full of lava which has a light effect so it would look really nice if we show a little um, 
shades of light reflection of the extreme hot fires light in the uh, surrounding area but problem is in gimp we do not have any such glow option so to cover up that problem what we will do is we will just select planet base one go to filter light and shadow then drop shadow we will use drop shadow option to create a glow i will tell you how now select drop shadow and the drop shadow pop up box comes up now we need to make offset x and offset y to 0 offset sir offset x or offset y is given for drop shadow because we know shadow falls in an angle shadow of an object either falls in 90 degree or any other degree angle so we need to show the shadow how how much farther or how much uh, and in angle the shadow has fallen but since this is a glow and an all over glow that is the glow will uh, will be radiated um, equally from the all sides of the planet we do not need any offset parameters here so offset x will be 0 and offset y will be 0 now the blur radius is uh, something that how much blurry or how much area the shadow will be that is how much radio uh, how much area um, the glow will be now opacity is of course uh, how dark or how light will be the glow so i have given a little opacity little less opacity so the glow is very light around the planet now i want to make it more I want to give a little more glow so I will increase the blur radius I increase the blur radius and click OK so see the glow increased around the planet maybe it cannot be viewed just like that but uh, if you look at it carefully you'll see that the glow is increased now I have created a group and I am going to put all the layer in the group so that I don't have any problem later on and I am going to chain them all together <laughs> I don't know how to call it it looks like a chain so I just call them chain chain them all together so that uh, when I move when I move the image all the layers move together that's all see is moving together all the layers is moving together in a group but if I don't do that if I try to move separate layer will move separately so it's better to do it to keep it together now I'm going to create another layer just above the background layer and named it stars I'm going to make some stars in this layer I took uh, the brush tool opacity keeping 100 percent and taking the soft brush tool you can take any brush you want if you want to make it look a uh, little more solid and you can do that and then you can add some glow to it like the like using the drop shadow option the way I showed or you can take a little softer brush and make the stars just white dots on the black background it will look great as stars so I have made all the stars I wanted in the background you can do some more design in the background if you want like other planets etc anyways so I'm going to create another layer on top of everything including the uh, layer group and I named it gas layers here I'll just add some volcano gases or some effects uh, surrounding the planet which may look little better or little much little more dramatic anyways so took the brush and uh, reduced the opacity to 48 percent just uh, experiment with the opacity and I just kept a fairly uh, big size brush and just 
scribbling around just it is just make some wavy lines that may or may not look like uh, it doesn't look like anything right now but um, i assure you they will look like something in near future i've taken a little orange yellowish color just to go with the theme and maybe i'll just take little darker yes darker orange this color will look good and again just painting haphazardly don't just paint haphazardly just uh, try to make a pattern like a flow with the color uh, how clouds or dust or i don't know fogs how they move like that because we are going to edit it fairly you know hmm. now i took a low opacity eraser and uh, started erasing softly since it's the low opacity it will not erase the entire thing but you have to erase the sides first because gases do not have a prominent side like here the color shows so you have to make it softer with the erasing so try to select a very soft brush as eraser so that it gives a very soft impression that is going to uh, mix with the background now i'll just blur it little bit go to filter blur and gaussian blur if i blur it a little bit it will be more soft it will be softer so i'll just take blur radius as 25 horizontal and 25 vertical and just click okay so it becomes much more softer than before now i'm going to reduce the opacity a little more because it it looks too prominent on top of the planet okay so now i'm going to erase a little bit more with a very low opacity just to mix it little bit with the background so you need lots of erasing on the sideways and when you are satisfied with this design you are done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it please like comment and subscribe to my channel for more such great tutorials and other art videos and fun stuff that i'm going to upload thank you very much and have a great day bye